Hello friends and welcome to a lesson all about the parts of a triangle. Triangles are pretty cool. Um, the word triangle comes from two words, tri, which means three, and angulus, which means corner. And triangles have three corners or angles. So what you're going to need is a blank piece of paper and some fantastic colored pencils and a triangle. Hmm, what did I do with that triangle? Yes, this part might be hard, but if you have a ruler, you can make your very own triangle pretty easily. What you're going to want to do is just make sure that one of the sides of that triangle is parallel to the bottom of your piece of paper. Then all you have to do is bring up another line on this side. and connect the end of that line to the other, giving yourself three sides and three corners triangulus. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's another way you might be able to do this that's sort of creative, but I'll show you that at the end of the lesson. For now, let's take a look at this very marvelous and beautiful triangle. I'm um, actually, I'm gonna fill in this triangle and tell you a little bit about the Base a triangle takes up. You see, a triangle is a closed figure. It closes in some space. And I'm coloring in that space right now. And that space is actually called the area. In fact, this is the same for any closed shape. The space that it encompasses or encloses is the area. And if you're getting interested in that, oh boy, wait till you get to the lessons where we actually find ways to measure area. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to keep on coloring in the area of this triangle, and you're welcome to do the same. And then we're going to add some other things, other parts to this triangle. All right. When I said I was coloring in the space, I truly meant that I'm going to be coloring in the space of this triangle. Okay, so let's start talking about the parts of this triangle. You might want to get another color for this part. Ooh, how about black for this one? Um, on every triangle there are sides, and we actually can call them sides. And for this one I'm going to label two of those sides. And I'm also going to give those sides some kind of uh, interesting pattern. But we have a nice curvy line coming down on that side and a nice curvy line coming down on this side. Fantastic. Now, the last side I want to make a little bit different because I also want to call it something different. I'm going to make it a different color blue. I'm going to darken it in nicely because that part of the triangle, since it's sort of on the bottom, we're going to refer to as the base, almost like the base of a mountain. And that would be the peak, right? Of course. Now, all of these sides together, if we were to take our ruler out again and measure them up and add those measurements together, we would have what's called the perimeter. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to talk about something else. So we've covered the sides, and this side, the base, the area. Uh, there's some other things that we've got to look at here as well. If you have a ruler or a straight edge, go ahead and try to connect the top straight down through the bottom of the triangle and grab yourself a really cool color. Ooh, sort of like this yellow one right here and go ahead and draw a line. And you're welcome to make it fancy. I'm actually going to make it a little bit thicker as it gets up here because at the top of it, I'm going to draw something really excellent. You see, that is a shooting star flying through space all the way to the top of the triangle. And this is a very special part of the triangle, and it has two names. We can call it the altitude. We can also call it the height. I'm going to write altitude this time. You're welcome to write height because many people know that one as well. 
But altitude sounds like we're climbing up a mountain. It's pretty cool. And look at that shooting star gaining its altitude. Now, what if you have a really funny looking triangle like this one? Oh, yikes. What a mess. Well, this one has altitude too, but its altitude is going to be measured down this way as opposed right here. So just remember with a triangle that slopes over lazily like this, you're going to measure its height from the top of its peak all the way to the base. Ha! Huh, the peak. Anyway, we actually have a name for that part I just referred to, and it's not the peak. That's right, you do know it, don't you? I'm going to grab another color here, and I am going to color in each of the corners, the angles, or we've got another name for them. Each one of them by itself is a vertex, but all of them together are called vertices. I'm going to label this top one right here because it's sort of like the peak of my mountain. That's my vertex. It's pretty fantastic. And you know, at this point, since I did say this was space, I'm going to go ahead and start filling it full of stars. But maybe yours looks a bit different. Don't forget to put a fantastic title on your drawing. It might even look something like Parts of a Triangle. Well, I'm going to fill this triangle full of stars and other beautiful things, and I can't wait to see the ones that you create. Have fun!